I'm taking another break from looking back on my life because of a profound experience I had this past week. My two sons, two brothers, and a classmate joined me to make a pilgrimage to Louisiana in honor of my father, who never made it there to experience its Cajun culture firsthand. What I didn't expect was the overwhelming reception of the Salasian community. As you know, I'm an alumnus of a Salasian high school, was in seminary, and taught at the same high school for almost 40 years. However, I didn't fully realize what being home with the Salasians meant, until being shown the hospitality of Father Steve Ryan and the entire community of Archbishop Shaw High School in Marrero, Louisiana. We were greeted warmly, shared prayer, meals, and time together, and became a part of their family. Growing up, I thought heaven was a boring place where we would worship God by saying rosaries on our knees and going to Mass the rest of the time. My only motivation for wanting to go there was to avoid the other place. As I've matured in my faith, I've discovered that worship is the natural response of gratitude to God for His incredible love, and that heaven is our only true home, because our Father, His Son and our Brother, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, have prepared an eternal residence for us will be part of a community of perfect peace and joy, together united as God's family. The feeling I had of being home in a community of holy men, with family and friends by my side, gave me a taste of what heaven must be like. There will no doubt be endless praise, comfort, and laughter, and infinite things to experience and enjoy, relationships to develop and deepen, and much that can't even be imagined. My hope and prayer for whomever is reading this is that you'll want nothing more than to desire perfect union with God in heaven for eternity. To have that, however, you need to try to live your life that way now. God's waiting to help you do that. He gave us a church to make it happen. Will you trust that he knows what he's doing 